Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my 100k solo run on Inverted Spire. We're using a uh, Stormcaller Warlock. I don't think I've ever done a 100k with a Stormcaller, so this was this was a first. Top tree of the subclass, we're using Izanami's Burden Primary, Nation of Beasts, uh, leg, uh, Energy and Bad Omens for we're heavy. Luna Factions for we're exotic armor. 160 power handicap, which gives a score multiplier of 3.7. Uh, heavyweight, momentum, arc singe, and match game. I have rocket launcher reserves on two pieces of armor, which allows me to carry eight rockets, so that's pretty cool. And uh, I've got empowering rift on, so that's that's the setup. So before we get into the actual strike, we have to talk about zero hour. Some people might just know it at the moment as the fallen transponder, the new exotic quest that dropped today in Destiny Two. I'll have a guide up for it tomorrow. Uh, I, I did have a couple of looks at it today, the mission. It looks pretty straightforward. Uh, uh, Time-wise, I'm going to have to go some if I'm ever going to try and solo it. I don't, I, don't even know if, I, don't, I don't even know if I'll be able to solo it, but we'll, we'll give it a go. Uh, so I'm not going to speak about what the weapon is. It's a fa it was a bit of a fan favourite from D, D2, D1. I don't want to spoil it for anybody that doesn't know. Uh, so... For if you don't know, you need to go into the heroic the heroic story mission on Titan and look for a data pad. That starts it off. And the other thing I want to speak about is because I predominantly play on PlayStation uh, and and can see myself on PlayStation for the foreseeable future. I've I've opened up the PlayStation section of my clan. So if there's any PlayStation players here that looking for a new clan that want to learn the end game you know want to want to get help or get as much help as you're prepared to receive and be part of a proper clan and start help start a proper community have a look at the link i've left in the description it is a link to the clan and if you're interested why not send me an ad and who knows you guys could be doing one of these soon you guys probably do these all the time that's not i'm not trying to make that special but you know, some people might enjoy playing with me or playing with the clan. So check out the link and hopefully I'll see some of you guys soon. So now that we spoke about Zero Hour, I was a little bit gutted because I actually recorded this before Zero Hour came out. You know, before we realised. In fact, at the end of this run, that's when I found out there was a quest. So we spent a bit of time. We never, I never went and checked it out. I don't really like... I like to try and find stuff out myself first, and we found everything out, all the locations out. We worked them out ourselves, and it was it was it's stuff like this is really cool for the community. It's a very good idea for the community. It gets everybody engaged, and I I love stuff like this. But I would like to have done a nightfall run with it. So hopefully we'll get the guide up tomorrow on how to actually get the weapon, and maybe do it. A second nightfall run this week using said new weapon so as you can see and as you probably worked out from the first hydra the reason i put is an army's burden on is for that massive one hit damage nation of beasts which is the last wish hand cannon there are other arc hand cannons so you know it's nothing special it's got it's got rampage on it which is i just wanted i wanted something that would hit a bit harder uh close to medium range and it, it fit the bill. But the Izanami's Iz burden was literally for that one hit kill on Hydras, on uh, anything I needed it on, really. I knew I wasn't going to use it for the boss. It was just a long range, high impact weapon. So when you get here, if you've got these gladiators, you're going to have snipers. Don't do what I've done. I wanted to save my heavy. I missed the crit. Because as soon as I poked my, my sniper out, just came back to me that there's snipers up there. And then I got hit really quick. So, take the snipers out. And then attack the gladiator. Use a rocket like I did. And then snipe those two. So, you'll have two gladiators down at the bottom here. As you can see, I'm just reloading, getting myself set up. I've got my rocket launcher reloaded. I'll jump up and I will put a rocket right in between them. Which takes both of them. And that's that's that sorted. 
I'm not. I'm being a little bit more liberal with the the heavy in this run because the section where you t get get uh, like vaulted over and then you drop down into a circular room and wait for the wait for the other kind of teleporters to load up, you'll get a fair amount of heavy. And because we've got a Roman super, that will you know doesn't matter what we get if we get vex we get dogs in this run we get dogs it doesn't matter which one you get you're going to wipe a lot of them out with your super uh the, the storm caller i right i started making a video the other day and i stopped it's like the future destiny video i start making these videos and then i stop because i'm you know i, I don't have a lot of faith in my own abilities when it comes to doing stuff like those sorts of videos so i talk myself out of making them half the time but I started making one about the supers, and doing this run has told me I need to make that video because Stormcaller used to be such a strong super, and now it's e e even uh, okay. If you've got the 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 geo mags, then uh, Chaos Reach is a little bit better. But this, do you remember when the melee used to be called the Tickle Fingers? Anybody remember that? They used to oh, I got killed by the Tickle Fingers. Well, that's what they used to call it because it basically was, you know, there's, I think I put something on my Facebook page, on, uh, on the channel's Facebook page, and it was basically uh, all the snipers that we missed from D1, and it was like, oh, this one, this one, this one, and then the middle one was like, not you, and it was the, the Warlock's melee from D1, because it, you, you could kill someone from almost, you know, it seemed like about 10 metres in-game away from them. Now... The super is about as powerful. The super's that kind of weak that the supers become tickle fingers. It's just, I'm going to kill them. I'm going to kill them in a minute. <laughs> you know, it's ridiculous. So I think I am going to go ahead with that video where we speak about the state of the supers in Destiny. I recorded everything. It's not like, you know, it's not like the future Destiny one that I've still got some bit of research to do. This one was all done and I talked myself out of actually putting it up because... Who wants to hear my about stuff like this? You can see me play it, so you're like, oh, well, he, what he's saying is true because it's on, on in front of us. But stuff like those other videos, I'm kind of like, mm, who wants to listen to my rambling? So, but after using the the storm caller, I figured this week we'll get. There are a couple of videos I want to get that outbreak prime out. That I think that'll be pretty cool, and uh, that that the. The supers in D2 and what needs to change for D3. That one's definitely coming out. So, anyway, I always get sidetracked with this. I just like talking with you guys. This is the closest I can get to streaming. <laughs> when I start streaming, I can just talk to people if people want to watch. But this is as close as I can get, so... It's my, my easiest way for me to connect with you guys. But... As you, I don't know if you've seen with that Cabal guy. Basically what I've done was, and it's the exact same with anything with an Arc Shield, but it's the exact same with anything with a shield. If you're fighting a shielded enemy, if you break their shield, you stun them, and that allows you the opportunity to hit them with your heavy without them ducking out the way, because they will duck out the way. So we'll switch. Same thing again. See? He kind of, although there, the explosion, the explosive barrel exploded behind him and it slid him forward. He was already in his animation and that's when you know, when they're in an animation and stuff like that happens, they wouldn't have been able to move of their own free will. So, break his shield, then you can put a rocket on him. He can't dodge out the way. It's impossible. He's already in a mechanic. His, his animation started. Now, this one, this part here, this could have been smoother. So there's an explosive barrel, and every time I come over, I shoot that explosive barrel. But every time I come over, I have a weapon with explosive rounds. And because I changed my gauntlets, and it's all it's all little things. Because I changed my gauntlets, I didn't have the you know the the extended range on my throw. Actually, after watching this again, I've seen this little gap around the side there. I was, now I'm wondering if I could have went round there from where it went. <laughs> so, yep, yeah, this could have went smoother if I'd have thought... I, now that I know I don't have the gauntlets on, now I can hit them with a grenade. But because I thought I had the gauntlets on, I have my, my throat... I'm just making it... I'm not making excuses, I'm just trying to explain why the first grenade was so bad. <laughs> 
and it's because I'm used to having that extended throw. So we drop down. I've baited them, got them to chase me, so I can get my health to proc and come back and access that. If you just drop down there, if you just drop down and try and access that that terminal whilst they're there, you're dead. They 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 will just literally just gang up on you and kill you. So now I can use a bit of heavy, try and get the, one of the gladiators down, because I've seen that that load of heavy there. So I fire another brick. I've got also a rocket launcher scavenger on. So I know that when I pick heavy up, I know I'm going to get quite a few rounds. So it's all good. So what we're trying to do is just bait them towards us. As many as we can in one go. I'm not just running for the sake of it. I'm trying to bunch them. But when they got round there, it seemed like they, they stopped a little bit. So once we take these guys out, then we get these guys. We get the dogs. So again, because we're going to pop our super, we want them to follow us. We want them to bunch up, get them in a group. Pop the soup, and as you can see, they're all just charging after me. Heavy for days. Another thing about the storm call, you guys probably know it. And to be fair, who's going to use it? It's just, it's not very good. It's, it's that, it's that lackluster that it's hard to imagine that it used to be good. But anyway, done, done what we needed it to do, and we've got heavy, so we're going to take. There's two guys round here, two incendiars. Two incendiators, or I always say it wrong. Let's have a look. Incendiators, that's right. Two incendiators. We'll kill them because they're void shielded. And now we, there's no snipers up there, so we can use where our nation of beasts break these shields. And then we're good to go. Always make sure you reload. Always make sure you've got. You, when you're going into battle, when you move from one battle to another, that should be the thing you're doing. Is checking your weapons just to make sure they're reloaded. There's nothing worse than getting into a gunfight and having one or two rounds in the in the barrel. So as you can see, never reloaded. Now we'll put it on these void void guys. We take all three of them. I shouldn't have fired that rocket. There was no need to fire it. That is what this is for. And as you can see, how much you'll see how much damage one shot from it does. One what should we say, prime round or charged round, that's, that's it, one charged round does massive damage, and what I found to be very strange there is I took, I would say just over half the health down with one shot, and then the second shot took a little bit, it's strange, anyway, that's, that's, that, that's, that's that, uh, the, the bossy down, what's his name? <laughs> I, I, is that that Episceptus? Is that his name? Can't remember. Something like that. Anyway, he's one of the wanted guys, and he was the reason I'm. It's coming into my head because he, I think he was the last one I needed. That's why I, I think his name is Episceptus. I don't know. He's a Hydra, anyway. <laughs> so the Hydra's dead. You're coming down here. We have three. Elite snipers. Now, I've n I normally even when I am killing, killing the ads here, I normally only take two. But because when I came into it, I thought I, I thought I was going to struggle for score. I thought I was going to struggle for time actually. And these weapons and this kind of strategy worked really well because I wasn't struggling for either. My suggestion, as you can see, I'm looking for the other sniper. I can't see him. I know there's one at the bottom. Which we do see very quickly. Almost tagged him straight away. Was going to go for the no scope. But <laughs> I wasn't. We took out the other sniper. We throw a grenade down here. Now I know there's another sniper. But I will implore you guys. If you don't take him. If you don't take the other sniper from the position. Our original position. Leave him and just go. Because you'll see what happens here. Kill these last couple of ads. Because they're putting a bit on me. And he's above us now. And because I've had a good run and everything's been going well, I get a little bit above myself and he's gone. He's over there. I've come out. My, I should have just walked back up against the wall and then got out of there, but I didn't. Just leave him. To, if you can't take them all from over the other side, just get down here and go at the boss. So there's going to be three, three arc-shielded harpies when we get down here, as there always is. We'll take them out. We're going to put down our empowering rift 
pop six rockets on, on on your man and he'll be dead. Nothing special. The rocket launcher's got boss spec on it. That's it. That's the only special thing. And I put a grenade. So we know with the time, it's under the 15 minutes, so we're still scoring maximum points per kill. We've got 99,419 points. We know if we kill this guy, we're going to hit the 100k. So we put a grenade on him, and now we just rattle off six six rockets at him, and it's a one phase. There you go, guys. One phase, 100k on the Stormcaller. Uh... Like I've said, like I've said already in this video, guys, watch out for the the guide on the zero hour and the the fallen fallen transponder tomorrow. If you're interested in joining the clan on PlayStation, there'll be a link in the description. I look forward to hearing from anybody that, that is interested. Thanks a lot for watching the video, guys. Your viewership is always important to me. Take it easy, and I will see you in the next video.